Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Research and Analysis. My name is Dr. Kamran. In this tutorial, I will discuss about some of the issues that are relevant with AI detection report in Tantin. If you have submitted your document but you are unable to get AI detection report in Tantin, then there might be several reasons behind it. And in this tutorial, we will discuss those reasons one by one. So this video will help you to build your understanding towards the common issues while examining uh, your document for AI detection and also help you to come out from such a troubling situation. So on my screen, uh, here is a document which I submitted just to see its similarity and AI detection. So what you can do after submission, uh, first you have to wait until this similarity index you can see on your screen. Just click this. So this is the plagiarism report of my document and here I can see the similarity index. If I want to see the further details, I can just click it and here I can see the further details from where it is actually showing the similarity. And if I am interested to see the AI detection, so just in the bottom of this page, you will see this uh, box uh, which, in which you can see it is written as AI and you can see AI detection is showing as 0%. So this is what you can see in the blue box. If you see uh, that blue box as gray, and if it is shown as like you can see on my screen, then there could be many reasons. One reason could be if you have submitted your document and you, you do not wait and just, you know, you just try to open that similarity report. And it could be possible that at the start it will show like this. But if you wait for some time, then after this, if you will recheck, then you will find the AI detection of that document. Apart from this particular reason, and despite of your weight, still you are unable to get AI detection report of your document, then there might be many reasons and we will discuss those reasons one by one. So these are the mandatory requirements. If your uh, first requirement is the file size must be less than 100 MB. If your file size is over 100 MB, so you will see the error like your box will be remain gray and you will not be able to see any percentage of AI in that and it will shown as AI is unavailable. So this could be the first reason. And the second reason could be the file must have at least 150 words of text in the long form writing format. Your document should contain at least 150 words. If it, those words are less than 150, then of course you will be unable to get AI detection report in Tantin. And the third condition could be uh, file must not exceed 15,000 words. So this is this could also be one of the reason because I remember that when I was examining a document and despite of weight and you know I was unable to get the uh, Tantin report for you know AI detection and after searching and searching finally I was able to understand and the words count is higher than 15,000 then I had to reduce the you know word count of that document to in order to get AI report and the fourth reason could be like this is also one of the mandatory requirement. The file must be written in English. Uh, although uh, Tarantin uh, can handle uh, many other languages as well, and you can see the you know similarity report of your document even if it is in other language other than English. But for AI detection report, your document must be in English. If you are submitting your document in any other language. So you will get, you can get 
the plagiarism report but you will not get the AI detection report of that document and the final reason or the you know mandatory condition is the file should be uh, any of these format if your for file is in the different format other than these then obviously you will not be able to get AI detection report of your document so these are the conditions that you must consider while you are assessing your document for AI detection report I hope this video will be helpful thanks for watching